our radiation oncologists are pioneering new approaches that preserve patients' quality of life. Kidney cancer starts from the kidney and then it metastasizes and goes to the rest of the body. Stereotactic radiation is one of the most advanced forms of radiation that allows us to focus radiation beams to anywhere in the body and confine it to any of the shape that a tumor can take and still spare the normal structures that are adjacent to the tumor. Oligometastatic disease is when the cancer has metastasized to only small number of spots. It may not be possible to do surgery for all these sites. However, stereotactic radiation being completely non-invasive is a perfectly viable option. At most centers, people with metastatic cancers only get offered systemic therapies. At UT Southwestern, the level of experience with these focused radiation techniques is unmatched by any center in the world. Up to a quarter of patients with kidney cancer can present with early or late signs of what we call tumor-associated thrombus. And not uncommonly, this tumor thrombus can actually extend all the way into the heart. This makes surgical removal of these tumors an extremely difficult and complex undertaking. It can go into the larger and larger veins, which is the inferior vena cava is the largest vein, and then it can even reach the heart. And some of the consequences of this is devastating. We have a unique experience here where we radiated tumors in this inferior vena cava, the entire length of it. To see if this is effective, we have designed a clinical trial where we are performing just that. We're giving radiation before the surgery to the tumor thrombus, and we are following the patients closely and evaluating whether the patients come back with metastatic disease. I was diagnosed with kidney cancer. No one ever wants to hear the dreaded C word, which is cancer, so it came as a total surprise. The main thing that they were worried about since it was the left kidney that it was pumping through my heart, there was a 50-50 chance that the cancer could show up somewhere else in my body. I went through radiation for like six weeks, and then I had my operation. Now it's almost a year out, and she still does not have any evidence of cancer anywhere. As far as I am aware, nobody actually has done tumor thrombus radiation before for renal cancer patients. And this is one of the unique things we are pursuing here. Everyone here at UT Southwestern was amazing. I'm basically just doing my checkups. We know that it's very successful, that I'm doing well.